Hi guys, Zetch here. When you asked me to do a, a print with an infill, I thought it would be easy. It turned out there was a lot to learn. Let me show you how to improve your prints to go from this to this. So again I'm using Black Belt Cura and I thought I'll just start by using the default infill um, method which is grid. So I started printing and my prints kept on failing and I, I couldn't figure out what's going on. So first I made sure that mechanically everything was sound so I printed some calibration cubes and measured and checked the angles and everything like that and there was nothing wrong there. It also would normally fail at about halfway through which is about five hours into the print so it was hard to spot. So after many failed attempts I finally noticed what was going on. As the nozzle was moving up it would um, get caught on the infill because the print can move ever so slightly the, because of the direction that it's moving the hand would move up and sort of lock it in position and it would skip steps. So now I knew I had to change the infill so I tried a few different ones but eventually I used this zigzag infill on Cura. I'm no expert on the infill on Cura but zigzag seems to um, print the infill in one direction and then on the next layer print it in the other direction which makes it slightly less dense or rather makes the lines themselves a bit thinner. This allowed me to print this hand successfully with about 15% infill and it looks amazing. Even the nails came out beautifully. Thanks again for your suggestions and comments. If it wasn't for you saying try it printing with infill I wouldn't have learned this. I would suggest if you want to print with infills try using zigzag on black belt cura that gives a great result. Thanks again for watching and subscribing. Hope you have a great day.